Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the control system for our senior design project in which the status of a float switch is sent to a microcontroller which then controls a solenoid valve. So the big picture, uh, this float switch, which is really two float switches, would be in a tank of fluid and once that tank fills up to a certain height we want to open the solenoid valve that which is uh, below it. Okay, so what do we all have here? We have obviously the solenoid valve normally closed. We have the float switch here, which is actually two float switches. We have a uh, relay here. The relay allows the solenoid valve to be powered by two nine volt batteries in series while being controlled by the uh, microcontroller. It is currently set up to be active high so that in the event of a power failure on the microcontroller, we will still remain closed. We also have a set of dip switches here of which four are being used for input control signals. And then we have a LCD over here to show the status of the control signals. So what we have on the screen right now, we have first up and second up, both of which are at zero. Those referring to the first float switch and the second float switch. And they will be set to one once they raise up. And then we have a open at one signal. This is so we can decide whether or not we want to open the uh, valve when the first switch is high or when the second switch is high. So, uh, so we can set that. Let's set that to the first one right now. So open at one. So if we raise the first switch, oop, raise the first switch, our valve will open. And you can see it open there. And then if we drop it, it will close. Now if we set the set it back, so now open at one is zero. So now we can raise the first switch and it won't won't care. So uh, you know, pull that up and then so the fluid is say at this level and now it gets to a level where the other one raises and we open up. And then if this drops, we close. In the event that we want to force a status to the solenoid valve, we can uh, set these one of these two force close or force open, of which um, force open takes precedent if they're both set. So let's do that. Force. Uh, nope, that's the wrong one. Force. There it is. <laughs> so I have both of them set. So it takes uh, precedent, force open. So if we put it, I don't know, I got the wrong one again. There we go. So now we have force closed and uh, open is at zero. So now that it is forced closed, it doesn't, we don't care about the status of the flow switches. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.